Every year Apple changes the iPhone design ever so slightly in key ways, but we never really know why. And we certainly don't get to see how they got there. But that's not the case this time around. Because for the base iPhone 16 over the past couple of months you may have seen a number of different prototype designs floating around specifically Apple's been thinking about three different designs to ship for 2024. Some of which look pretty familiar and others that look absolutely wild and really not like an iPhone at all. To me it's fascinating to see this and we learn which design Apple has ultimately settled up upon. But first I want to show you what Apple's been working on. Because starting off with the design and testing for the iPhone 16, it is quite a stark departure from what we have right now. The first thing I noticed about this was the pale yellow color that we've never seen on an iPhone before, and it's honestly a color that I think I could have gone my whole life without seeing. I just don't think this looks very good at all. But you'll notice the biggest change here is the camera design. It almost looks to me like a mix of the iPhone X as well as a random Android phone, as it's essentially the iPhone X camera on a raised camera bump what we've been used to seeing on the iPhone, but I think it actually looks really sharp, and I love the fully blacked out. That we've got here, the camera lenses are once again stacked vertically on here, and as we go around the rest of the device, there's a couple of other key changes, including number one, the action button. Apple has brought that down in this prototype to the base iPhone previously, that was restricted to the pros and just below that the volume buttons look completely different. It's a unified design with sort of a split in the middle that looks like a pill was cut in half. It's a really different look for the volume buttons on the iPhone. I have to say I do actually like the way this looks. And looking at the whole package here, if Apple goes with this design, it's going to be a major revamp for their cheapest models. If we look at the front of the iPhone 16, we've got the same screen sizes as currently 6.1 and 6.7 in respectively for the Plus model and unfortunately, we are hearing no promotion 120Hz display. Yeah, that's really the only bad news in the part of the design. The displays for yet another year will run at 60Hz. Apple's not changing them till the iPhone 17. And before we talked about some colors in testing, now we know the colors have apparently made the cup. We've got four different ones coming. We've got pink, yellow, green, and a light blue. So some new colors that we had not seen before, and also a slightly different version of that yellow seems to be confirmed. This time the camera restructuring it's actually functional and it is for Apple to bring down yet another pro feature to the base iPhones and that is spatial 3D video. Video that you can shoot on your iPhone and watch back later on your Apple Vision Pro headset. So to achieve this they're making the cameras vertical just like they are on the pro models where you can shoot spatial video with the wide and ultra wide lens. The new A18 chip that's going to be inside this year. I know chips are normally boring, it's faster cool. Okay, that is not what is actually happening with both the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro this year. Because Apple's rumored to specifically make these chips have a huge upgrade for AI features. Okay, that's everything we know so far about the iPhone 16. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learn something new, drop a like, hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the iPhone 16. Going forward, die bin same, hope you're doing well. So thank you for watching. I'll see you the next one. Bye bye.